Hi everybody. <coughs> I just want to do a little update of what's going on around here. Um, I've got the Nuva almost done. Another day or so and I should have it pretty much complete on my box stock. Nova Copa. Uh, I spent three days polishing it out. It's a uh, Um, pretty, uh, <laughs> um, pretty, uh, almost like a mirror. Um, I got one little scratch I can't get out, but you can see the reflection. It's, uh, it's, it's there. <laughs> um, I did the bare metal foil around it. Um, <clears throat> I did the uh, the interior tub in semi gloss, and uh, it's hard to tell, but I did the uh, 3D crystal on the uh, the uh, instruments. Um, one day I'll I'll show uh, I'm do a video on how this stuff works um, you just basically do a toothpick on it um, and make sure it's nice and flat and I, I make the make the lenses with it um, I paint did the, the clear orange under it and then uh, toothpick it on so it's nice and level let it sit overnight and it dries pretty hard it's kind of gummy feeling but uh she will move um I did 400 grit on the tires all the way around I tried to do the, the red white walls um, I couldn't get them the, the decals to work like look right and so I don't think they're just going to have them on it but uh, I think the motor came out pretty decent um, for not having any wiring it came out pretty decent and I did some pretty decent uh, detail on the, the floor the frame with a toothpick and the non-buffing uh, metalizers so I'm pretty happy with it it's coming out pretty decent in the Merc I did some body work on it after being in the pond so I just got a um, Keep priming it, blocking it. Keep priming it, blocking it to get it straight again. Hopefully, another day or so, it should be prime again, um, in color again. Um, just when I drop the fenders down, it's showing them lines again. And it, you know, it took a couple months to do it, and I'm just every day I'm on it. Um, that's when I'm on my kits. But I kind of, you know, everybody's doing shout outs and, and uh, everything, you know, with people they follow. I kind of wanted to do a couple. Um, I used to be a bartender and a bouncer, and my family always asked me, uh, you know, to make them at the holidays. So I showed them this. The first one is uh, Common Man Cocktails. These guys are pretty funny and they show uh, different liquors, uh, do reviews and, and uh, different uh, mixings and all that. Give them a look and, and uh, you'd be surprised. There's different uh, liquors that I didn't even know about that's out there. Um, but they're pretty funny. 
I got my family watching them and stuff. And then Scrave, Scra I'm was big in, and still am in the mini truck scene. Um, this guy's doing a body drop uh, Nissan from scratch, and he's showing exactly how to do a body drop, stock floor body drop. Um, so give him a, a watch. Um, and then the last one is Canon Design Two Sick Customs. These guys are doing some crazy paint work. Um, I'm just going to start to show you guys. It might not be hobby uh, steered uh, towards the, the hobby like we do, but it's stuff that I watch. Um, paint, um, mini truck, or stuff like that. But it, it might be steered to the hobby too. But it's just different stuff that I watch. Um, like I said, you know, I've been building mini trucks for almost 30 years now. Um, close to 25 years. And I, I have my dailies in O2, O2 um, S10 that's lowered um, 5 inches in the front and 7 in the back. And then. I have my I have an '86 S10 Blazer in my garage that I'm trying to bag, um, but being blind, I don't get much done to it. It's kind of on standby. Um, my first truck was an '86 uh, State truck. It was a Ford Ranger. It was painted limelight green. I've had all kinds of low riders and many trucks in my lifetime. I've had a 64 Impala um, for old hydraulics. Um, but that's the kind of stuff that I'm into. Um, so I'm going to kind of show you some of the stuff that the uh, that I follow and it might be hobby related. It might be one to one. It might be other stuff too so uh, I'm just going to give you the heads up of the kind of stuff that I follow too so hopefully you guys are having trying to stay cool with this heat wave we've got going on right now today it's 95 degrees in Ohio um, I know we went from one one Winter is absent of 70, 70 degrees and rain the 90s. So try to stay cool and you guys take care. See you soon.